To work out the exact perimeter of this triangle, we need to use Pythagoras to work out those diagonal lines. So we'll do this in three different parts. So we're going to do this line here using Pythagoras. So for that line, we'll call A. We know that A squared is equal to 4 squared plus 4 squared. We can count along the axes. And so we end up with a squared is equal to 16 plus 16. a squared is equal to square root 32, which we should simplify to factor out the 16. And we're left with 2 in the square root. So 32 is same as 16 times 2. So 16 becomes 4 on the outside. So then looking at this next diagonal here, We'll look at the one in the bottom left here. We're going to do that in green. We'll call that b. And we'll say that b squared is equal to, well, the vertical length is going to be 4 plus, we'll say the horizontal length is going to be, it looks like 8, counting 8 there. And so we end up with b squared is equal to 16 plus 64 b squared is equal to 80, so b is equal to square root 80. Okay, so that can be simplified as well. This can be written as 16 times 5. The 16 can come on the outside, and it becomes 4 root 5. Okay, so that's the value of b. And then lastly, we can do, we'll call this one c, and we can use this triangle out here. And it looks like it's the same triangle, and I th I'm pretty sure it is. C squared is equal to, the horizontal is 4 squared. The vertical I'm going to count as 8 squared. So C squared is equal to 16 plus 64. So we're going to get the same square root 80. And that simplifies to, again, 4 root 5. So the total perimeter... When we work out the total perimeter, the perimeter is equal to 4 root 2. We're going to add the 4 root 5s together. So we're going to end up with, since they're like radicals, we're going to end up with 8 root 5 as the exact perimeter.